What is up and is going on guys, my name is Simpsy and welcome back to some more Total War Attila. We are playing as the Western Roman Empire and I do believe this is episode 7. So this is the Battle of Dyrrachium. Now guys, if you watched the last episode, um, I basically told you my strategy and what's the go for the campaign. So at the moment, the Eastern Roman Empire are not at war with the Ostrogoths. We did defeat the full stack of them quite a long time ago. And we didn't really finish them off. We need to finish them off if we're going to push into northern Africa and defeat the Gamantians who are just tearing up northern Africa at the moment. To the north, obviously, the... Oh, I can't remember what they're called. Well, I do know the Marcomanians are now with them. It's the other guys in the kind of eastern pocket of my empire. We did actually get a peace treaty with the Picts. They offered me one. But uh, we went into a force marched. Um, to go over to Greece to deal with the Ostrogoths. Now, we have been engaged here just outside of Dyrrachium. and we are in a forced march with the Emperor. So, the forced march will hinder us a little bit. Looking at the army, um, looking at the Axeman unit card, I hope there's a lot of that in this episode, in this battle. They haven't got that many, art, like, uh, what is it? Auxiliary units. They've only got two lots of bowmen, one lot of slingers. They've got two lots of pike and two lots of spearmen. Hopefully my cohort should be able to to hold them off quite nicely here. But they are charging us, remember. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We could go with a defensive testudo. But I would rather not. So they are... We could go to the back. No, I'd rather get this battle underway as quickly as possible. So I want to make this as thick as possible. So... I might try to re-center. I want these lines to be pretty thick. So I want the enemy to take, like, the brunt of this. Okay, we're going to go with the stock standard Roman formation with spearmen on the sides. I could leave... Actually, I think I might take two units out of that. And then... Because you, you don't necessarily want to put all your units in the front line, but with this it gives us the maneuverability um, to protect the general and move the unit and just, I don't know, if the, if we see like a, a position we can go in and flank. Now, cavalry wise, we, c we can put my cavalry behind the enemy lines. We do have Germanic mounted light skirmishes, which we're going to do. I'm going to leave my cavalry here just in case there's a charge. So I'll put him on what flank? There's no trees, so... Probably this flank here. Now I'm going to put these Germanic um, slingers. Well, they don't have any artillery, do they? No. Can I sneak them in there? Oh my god, I can too. <laughs> so, we're going to get these guys to harass them. Have they been spotted? They're moving. Yeah, I reckon they have been. Well, let's engage their nobles then straight away. Maybe we could be able to take out their general. Precision shot. We're definitely going to put that on once we get in range. They are charging at us. So, can we go with like a defensive position? Not too sure. What buffs have we got with the general? Brace. We're definitely going to use brace on that frontier unit. But my cavalry is coming down here. Are they, si are they turned? No. No. My cavalry is double timing it quite heavily. If we could kill their general, that would be absolutely superb. Uh, go with precision shot now. We killed 15 in the first initial volley. 10. If we could kill the general, I don't know if we're going to be able to, but we're going to give it a red hot shot. Come on, we've killed 60 so far, double out, before they get way too close. Come on again. If we could get them to turn away, that would be superb, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. We destroyed half of the general, we need to keep focus, but I don't think there's much going on. Come on, get our shots off. Turn. 
Once we run out of ammo, I'm just going to go with a head-on charge. One of your units has used all the ammunition. Charge. 67. Even though they are light units. Just keep going. That charge would have done a fair bit anyway. So, let's just not worry about them because... Oh, have we nearly routed their general. Yeah, we're going to lose units, so there's no point. We might as well try to hit them from behind now. Okay, where do they have cavalry? Well, they've got cavalry on all sides. But if I can get my cavalry to hit their pikemen from behind, we might be able to take a fair few casualties. So it looks like they're coming to deploy against us. I would send my skirmishers to deal with theirs, but I don't know if there's a point. We'll try to get my skirmishers to get their pikemen. If we could hit them from behind, that would be awesome. My javelinmen aren't in range. But I don't want to lose too many men. Um, once this charge comes in, I think we're going to... Actually, I'll just pause it. I think we should charge them straight out. They've moved the majority of the way. I don't want a skirmish just to battle it out. Because we'll lose way many... Way too many casualties otherwise. And get my spearmen to engage them. There's no point in using that brace stance now. But... Yeah, get everyone... To run and oh, don't turn! They turn the pikes. They turn the pikes. Whew. Whew. If this was medieval, we would have lost that whole unit because they rotated their pikes. <laughs> they should be running. Well, let's see if we can hit the gap. I know these are light, so we're going to lose a lot of casualties. We just need to pull them out quickly. Or they might be surrounded. Okay, we're going to push these guys around. Yep, I think that's enough with this mercenary unit. But mind you, they are mercenaries. They're meant to be used up. And now I'm going to hit my spearmen from behind against them. Okay, let's move my skirmishers up to engage their, their pikemen. Okay, how are my cavalry over here going? We'll get them to engage. Push them. We are pushing against them. Yeah, I might form my cavalry back around. I'm going to push my general units into some better positions. What could I push them into? There's a lot of cavalry on that side, so I'd rather push them on this side here. There's a unit chasing my cavalry, so we're going to have to immediately deal with them. I'm going to push my general up just to help with morale. Okay, we're going to fall these guys further around. Enemy units have been rallied. Well, we're going to get my cohort to deal with these then. We are on a forced march, so I don't want to back the morale too much with my units. I want to be smart about it. Because... They're not the best of... I can't remember what Force March exactly does, but it does drop the morale. I do know for a fact. So we just, we're just going to have to be mindful. Um, maybe it was a bit of a risky because I forgot <laughs> uh, about it. Okay, there's a, ca there's a cavalry charge coming in here. Um, okay, I'm going to get my slingers to halt and... Oh, they're not on fire at all anyway, so it doesn't matter. Wow, both units routed there. I didn't really care about the uh, the charge. Where's my cavalry? Yeah, we'll get my cavalry to run down theirs. My swordsmen are picking a pass last. They're in route. Their cavalry's about to be routed. That cavalry's routed. I think we've won the battle. Yep. Victory. Let's end it there. A decisive victory against the Ostrogoths. Ah, Flavius Honorus Emperor, Emperor Flavius, deployed 3,037, he lost 635 on the battle map, and he has 2,402 remaining. The Ostrogoths, Ostrogoths deployed 2,718, so we only had 300 more troops than them, and they lost 1,000 
951. And this is the last Ostrogoth army. So once we defeated them, they are gone, along with the Visigoths, the Vandals, the Swabians, and so a lot of the a lot of the the um the migrational tribes have been destroyed. Holy shit! 225 kills with that cohort. Jesus. Good job, guys. 161. Skirmishes, 110, 160, 200, 213, holy shit. A lot of my, and that that's when I gave the order to fire at the pikemen, I reckon. That's what majority that is. Spearmen did averagely, but mind you, one lot of that cohort did 14. I would imagine that was one of the second line. What did the majority of the work for them? Their cavalry really hindered us. 126. Their general unit killed 17. I would imagine that was the, the mercenary Germanic Cav. I didn't actually realize that was going into the battle. I didn't realize that was like missile cav. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But a decisive victory. We're going to. We could execute. Now I'm gonna take on the remaining so we can get some replenishment. We were actually through the end turn phase. So we might be able to see some interesting stuff with the Marco Marnies, I guess. And uh, I can't remember their name. We're still at war with the Caledonians and the Britons. Yeah, so what are we... We got attacked there because they declared war on us in the last turn. We are going to auto-resolve because, like I said, we wanted to get rid of... I can't remember what they're called. It's because they're not a faction in any other total war that I'm aware of. Um, once I see them... Oh, fuck's sake. These guys, these pricks here, I can't remember what they're called. We we're fighting over here. God damn it. Um, God damn it, the Marco Marnies attacked us, so... I guess we're over in that general direction. Like I said, uh, yeah, the Gamantians are just tearing up northern Africa. We're not in the best suit there, so. Like I said, once we've blooded our troops against the Ostrogoths, we're going to probably move that Emperor's army down to Sicily, because if the Gamantians push out of northern Africa into my homeland of Italy, it's not going to be good. It's really not going to be good. Okay, so we'll look, we'll look at that later. The Allens have been destroyed. Uh, famine. Secured. Good. Um, what were we doing? Yeah, um, what are they called? The Quidaeans. We were going to push against the Quidaeans. We'll probably have to deal with that in the next episode. Um, we're going to finish off the Ostrogoths in today's, though. Are they really going to be pushed out of range? Are you actually kidding me? Well, we need to upgrade the Emperor anyway. There's no point of decimating because we have pretty well integrity. We're going to go with ammunition and we'll go with one with integrity just to keep it up. Uh, what are we going to go with here? I guess authority, integrity, saying it's the Emperor. It would make more sense. Cunning and public order. So let's actually have a quick look at the messages. The battle reports. Ranked. Okay, I think we're going to end it there. Yep, what we're going to do now is we're going to push against the Marco Marnians, who are just here. They declared war on us. We do have my two armies here. We also need to push against the Quidaeans. Once we've done that, um, we're going to send one to northern France, which we are recruiting quite heavily. It might even be a best idea to actually, like, save up to make this a city. So, it's a, so this is, like, the main... So I reckon this is probably one of the closest points to disembark over the English Channel. So we'll send one unit up there, we'll have two stacks in the north, um, and then we'll have two stacks against the Marco, Marco, uh, the Gamantians, sorry, because they are just, like I said, they've, they're just tearing up northern Africa at the moment. And it's only a, stro a, a short stretch to Syracuse and Italy itself. So we're going to finish off these guys. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to end the episode here, because I don't think there's a point of going into another battle just yet. I think there's a lot more stuff I need to do micromanaging-wise. If you guys are curious to know about the public order, I guess I could show you on the strategical overview. Um, I actually uprooted most of the the governors in Spain, because we're going to be focusing on here now. Um, obviously, I guess this is kind of Portugal in Spain. Is a little bit unhappy. Obviously, Northern Africa is shit itself, and I don't think we should focus on. I don't think we should focus on Northern France yet, and Gaul, just in case 
we get attacked soon because we need to focus. We need to get rid of the Marcomanians, the Quidaeans, and the Ostrogoths so we can have like a bit of peace on this border here. Uh, we just need to wait for the Franks. We just need to hope the Franks don't come into it. I have been giving them gifts, by the way. But we are going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this series and my channel as the Western Roman Empire. Remember to subscribe if you already haven't. And, uh, yeah, above all, remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you watch this Western Roman Empire episode. So, my name has been Simsy. Goodbye.